New Orleans is home to many well-known landmarks, including the St. Louis Cathedral, Café du Mont, and the Cabildo. But just as common to the landscape as the tarot card readers, street magicians, and artists is the man in the red beret. Well, I had passed this location for two decades. I'd traveled all over the world. I'd had four tables all over the quarter. None were successful. And then I passed here and suddenly hit me. No one is here. No one wants to be here. Oh my goodness, this is ideal. I'd passed it all my life. Holding two world records, Jude Akers has played such chess legends as Bobby Fischer, Ben Larson, and six-time U.S. chess champion Walter Brown. I played 117 people uh, at uh, Lloyd Center in Portland, Oregon, then 179 people, July 2nd, 3rd, 1976. 40 million copies of the Guinness Book of World Records carried it. Many people thought it was a joke, but it made my whole career and gave me an, a way to operate independently of do nothing local and national chess organizations. I became world famous. I'm probably the most famous American player in the whole world now, excluding Fisher, of course. What's behind Jude's passion is perhaps his past. According to the quarterly newsletter of the New Jersey Department of Corrections, he spent his fractured childhood in North Carolina and his adolescence in Louisiana, the product of an abusive father and an unstable mother. There are stents in orphanages and a stretch in Louisiana's state mental institution for teens, periods during which Jude says he learned to live alone. It was during this time that he learned to play chess. I was a little boy. I had nothing to live for. I found a book in the library when I was six, seven, eight years old, first book of chess by Joseph Lemming. Saw the chess pieces on the cover, I was gone. Hey man, whatever this is, let's, let's get interested in something and live. People kill themselves, commit suicide, they're unhappy because they're not interested in living, they have no interest. I have no spare time. I have an enormous library um, in about 12 languages. I have uh, chess books, I have over 2,000 chess books in my place. I have, um, uh, uh, I'm too busy to die. Uh, there is interest in living. Um, I play chess for a living. Every game is important because it makes me a living. I don't play chess for free ever. I give lessons, $400 for 10 hours. Um, I promote myself all over the world and I'm known in 100 countries. Um, it's quite fascinating to be a chess professional and to make it work. I have my own business with all the freedom that counts. And the other man's grass is not greener. Another person is not a millionaire. Another person um, is not um, more successful than I am. I have my own world and my own operation. I just absolutely love it. Jude Aker's formula for success stems from his firm convictions and cultural values. Uh, no drinking, no smoke, no dope. I'm wild as you come. Love the wild women, the wild parties, but I never touch alcohol, booze, dope, or anything. I live and let live. I like every kind of person, rock, every kind of hip hop, every black musician, every black guy in a housing project, all of them. More power to them. But me, straight as an arrow, walk everywhere and don't have negative people around you ever. Get eight hours sleep, stay healthy. Um, in the library, read nonfiction. Don't even bother reading fiction. Nonfiction. Read about Abraham Lincoln, Rock and Roll Incorporated, every kind of person like that. Uh, my interest is in Lenin, people like that, individuals in history who change history, who affect history. Stalin, uh, good and bad. Uh, Hitler attacks Stalin and finds out that he's no weak boy on the beach. You know, that kind of thing fascinates me in history. A person's responsible for his world, and, um, and you're interested in living or not, it's your choice.